from i welcome you to zipet j's blog and this channel is all about christianity and good news so kindly subscribe to us if you're new and to all our existing subscribers i say thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me throughout the journey of 2021 so in closing the end of the year i want to i'm trying a new thing on this channel let me know if you love this type of review then i would give it to us in 2022 okay so today i will be giving us um, a brief of divorce what god is about divorce and i'll be giving us some free discussion on the review then you watch this short Mount Zion video I pray you get blessed and God enters your heart and I pray that God is going to amend many homes by watching this video amen so I will call this divorce and remarriage God hates divorce he hates it because it always involves unfaithfulness to the ceremony covenants of marriage that two partners have entered into before him and because it brings harmful consequences for those partners and their children let's read malachi 2 verses 14 to 16 please read that the verse in this scripture is permitted only only because of man's sin since the verse is only concession to man's sin and is not part of God's original plan for marriage. All believers should hate divorce as God does not pursue, pursue it only when there is no other recourse. Regards up in marriage, marriage can survive the worst sin. So let me know what do you think about this? video about this about this um divorce divorce and marriage a lot of women has been broken and i hope and i pray that as you watch this short clip god is going to minister to you and may your home be filled may your home be blessed may your home be restored in jesus name amen if you've not given your life to Christ, I urge you to watch this video and I pray that God is going to enter your heart and you will know Christ in Jesus' name. So why not comment in the comment section what's your view about this video and kindly watch this to the end and enjoy this amazing short video or short film playlet about divorce and marriage. God bless you. So see you in my next video and happy new year in advance. Thank you for 2021. Let's do greater things in 2022 and please share this video to as many people as you know. Let's save people's life. Thank you. Bye for now. Don't forget to share, comment and like and let's interact in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, my dear, come, 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 welcome. Please come and meet our visitors. Okay. <laughs> oh, how are you? You are welcome. Thank you're you. welcome. How was Mama Bind? She's okay, she's okay, she's fine. You are welcome. Do I know you at all? It's like Duma. Mm. My name is Kola, and she is Bimpe. A friend of ours invited us to your program, the Glorious Couples program, some time ago. And that here welcomed us personally that day. <laughs> ah, that's lovely. You're yeah, welcome. I think your husband and wife are supposed. No, ma. Not really. We have been separated for more than three months now, waiting to be divorced. Divorced again? God have mercy. So why are you here? Our parents sent us here, ma, because they are not happy about our decision. Yes, they advised us to see you for counseling. Really? And God is not happy about what we're about to do? Because he hates divorce. Hmm? Wait, wait, my dear. That statement you made reminded me of that dream I had. Remember the dream I had? Which dream? 
a dream you've forgotten. Oh, oh, yes. We are one elderly man was advising a couple against divorce. Ah, God is great. Did you hear that? Hi. God knew that you'll be coming like, on a day like this. That was why he showed me that dream. To warn you ahead. You know, and I'm also pleading on God's behalf. Now, don't take that satanic decision. Please don't divorce each other. Sir, I never planning on this for her marital life. But the situation is becoming unbearable for me. She's never at home. She does not have my time. And her career takes a better part of her life. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. So what can you say to that? <laughs> well, I'm okay with whatever he feels like doing. He has been complaining about my job, which I'm not ready to let go. <laughs> Since he's not ready to endure, it simply means we are not compatible. Hmm? Period. Because of your job? Hey, Jesus Christ. Sir, ma, he's just pretending. He has divorced me before now in his heart. You started it. You separated yourself from me. You cause me pain any time you take your career above your home. Um, I want to ask you both. Have you, are you born again? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, ma'am. We were both serving as workers in the local church before she was transferred to another city. So, I suggest you go back to God because God is still interested in your life and in your home. Yes, that was the point we were before you came in. But none of them was ready to submit. You know, and follow what the Bible says. They have all they've made up their mind to go their different ways. I didn't want to say this before, but I think it's necessary. Since it's like you are blaming me for everything, this man is having an extramarital affair with someone in the church. Hey, Jesus. I mean, in the house of God. <sighs> Sir, Ma, that's another Hoffman and Finihas sitting before you. <sighs> not once, not twice. But you always denied it. Until I called them together in our matrimonial <sighs> bed. Oh. When I came back from work unexpectedly. Hey, really? Brother, hmm. is it true? You are cheating on your wife? I may not be able to explain everything. Ah. But it was an attack from the pit of hell. The lady was sent to seduce me. Moreover, my wife's concern upstairs causes it. Shut up your mouth! Ah. My dear, what is going on in the church of God? No wonder you are now seeking for divorce to cover up your sin. Ah on your matrimonial bed. May God have mercy with you. <laughs> but the lady in question knew my wife was not always around and the snake came in to bite. Definitely she was an agent of the devil. My, in fact, she came to defile me. Who? Another lie. <laughs> ha! That is what they surely say. After they have satisfied their, their lustful desire. Mm -hmm. Who defiled who? <laughs> was it on her bed or on your own matrimonial bed? Mm. Eh? Ah, let me tell you, you fell not because your wife was not around. Hmm. It was because the spirit is in you. You have that spirit, lustful spirit. It's right inside of you. And let me tell you, marriage cannot cure fornication or adultery, except you are delivered hmm. and you ask God for mercy. Oh, God has forgiven me. I need to fill up the vacuum that she has created in my heart by a woman that is prepared. I don't want to endanger my life again and I need a woman that is willing to help me. Sexual intimacy is one of the reasons for marriage. Moreover, the Bible says that we should marry and not born. I need a woman that can satisfy my emotions as well as my desires. She is not ready to leave her job and I cannot leave her because of the assignments I had to do here. I need to sort out myself and get another woman. I need to divorce her. The lady in question is one of our elders' daughters. <laughs> in fact, as I'm speaking with you right now, the parents know nothing about it. Ah. Can you imagine a worker in the church messing around the lives of innocent girls? Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? You did that abominable thing. And you have not confessed to the church to help you beg God to forgive you. 
Brother, you have not done very well at all. Ah. What you did is very bad. Oh. Eh? You want to destroy the life and future of that innocent girl? Innocent girls? Ah. Divorce is not the solution to the problem you have. So. But you need to change. My dear, say what you want to say. And get this man out of my house. And what has Christ done in your life? If I don't put your thing in check. Huh? You need to go back to God for mercy and forgiveness. And make sure you go to your pastor. And see the parents of that girl. For forgiveness. May the Lord have mercy on you. Now, let me pray with you now. Don't worry, sir. We'll sort it out. Thank you. <sighs> Dear. What have you just done? Like what? You threw those couple out in anger. Is there anything bad in that? It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Is that why you're hungry? I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy. But he admitted everything the wife said he did to those innocent girls in the church. He could not see anything. He was just looking. My dear, I can't condone such people around me. But maybe that's why God sent people, send them to us. They need, they need help. Help? Ah, oh, they don't need them. Somebody who is ready to divorce his wife, to cover up his sin. My dear, he knew what he was doing. He needed to be seriously disciplined. But that is why he has not yet divorced his wife. He could still change his decision. That was maybe that's why the parents sent them to us for proper counseling and prayers. Maybe through proper counseling and prayer, they could still change their decision. But he needs to sort himself out before God and his pastor. We are not his pastor, my dear. He has done a lot of things before God. A worker in the church for that matter. Dear, what is the church of God turning to? How can you imagine? The, the, the parent of those girls knew nothing about this thing. My dear, that man needs to be jailed. Ah, please excuse me, Daddy. I want to, I want to relax. I want to rest. Look, actually, he has done terrible things. But we still need to pray for him. You know, cases like this need a lot of wisdom. I can still remember my dream vividly. Maybe God is sending these people to us so that we can help them. Oh, pray. Pray for that useless brother. A believer. Uh -uh. A worker in the church. Who cannot control himself. When the time the wife will be around. Eh? Uh, that brother still needs to deal with the works of the flesh. Today, you didn't tell me you are coming. How's daddy? Have your sister. Is that the way to do ministry? We are trying. The Lord is helping us. And the ministry is, I mean, is going home fine. You have not answered my question, Mommy Tife. We are trying, Mommy. The ministry is going on well. And the Lord is helping us. I'm not talking about your husband. God gave you this ministry and your husband supported you. He's really trying. He's a peaceful man. Very supportive. Because your husband is a man of the spirit. He works in the spirit. He loves and fears the Lord. Oh, we thank God, Mama Latunde. I really thank God for his life. <laughs> but you, it is important to know that you can only succeed in this ministry if you submit yourself to God's way. Because God is not a man, but a spirit.
Yeah, you are not sleeping. Yes, I couldn't sleep. I had this serious burden, so I didn't, I didn't want to disturb you so I, in the room. So I left the room to come and pray here. But I'm okay now. Can we go and sleep? I, I had a dream. Huh? You see, in that dream, I saw that woman I met in Abuja, Mumi Ola Okay, okay. She was asking me if that is if that is the way to do ministry. Mm. She said, she said, if I want to succeed in the ministry, I can only walk in the way of God because God is a spirit. Mm. Does, does that mean I'm not walking in the spirit? Mm. You know, she looked so sad. She was not happy with me at all. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It was God that was speaking to you. Mm -hmm. Not Mrs. Ola today. The Holy Spirit just used her image because of the role she has played in your life ministerially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My dear, what happened yesterday really grieved the Holy Spirit. How? Mm -hmm. we, we concluded the matter of the couple so fast without even asking the mind of God or even the God's opinion about it. We concluded the case so fast. You judged the man so fast. Uh, is that? But the man was wrong. He messed up seriously. Yes, you are right. And to cover his sins, he opted for divorce. Exactly. Can you imagine that? Mm, yeah. But I believe God directed that man and his wife to us to prevent them from doing what they wanted to do. God hates divorce. You know, God has beautiful plan for marriage, but Satan always wants to hinder it and to prevent that plan from coming to pass. The Lord sent those couple to us to show them how much he loves them and to show that he has beautiful plans for them which they are not even aware of. But we allowed what we had and saw to influence our own judgment. You know, and they eventually left us to do what God said he publicly hates. That is divorce. And that's what they opted to go and do. Ah. No. My God. Ah, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Please forgive me. I, I was not patient enough. Dear, hmm? what are we going to do now? We need to look for that man. We need to look for them and stop them from taking that action. Only God can stop them. What the Holy Spirit is laying on my heart is that we should just commit them unto the hands of the Lord. Jesus. But before we can do that, let's first of all ask God to have mercy on us and forgive us for what we've done. Because the way they left, the man left angrily. Hey. In fact, when I said let us pray, he didn't even wait to pray. Oh, he did that. Ah, Jesus, forgive me. I'm sorry for my baby, oh Lord. Mr. Don't worry, my dear. God will have mercy. Amen. He will reveal his mind to those couple and he will give them a new heart. Both of them will become mighty vessels.